Today we're in the engine room. It's a, I'm calling it a maintenance day. Basically this little 20 amp charger is original on Freebird. It is, the only purpose is to keep the generator battery charged. And it actually hasn't been working for a couple of years. And I've been too lazy to uh, replace it. Here's a quick look at the old Charles charger versus the new Pro Mariner charger. Um, obviously the wiring is going to be the main issue, adapting that. But also a little engineering and where it's going to, how it's going to mount the screws that need to, holes need to be drilled, etc. But otherwise it's really not too, it's not, at least we're not going to a larger size. Smaller is always easier to install than a larger device. And the problem started when we switched over to uh, AGM batteries. There's a switch on the back of it that you have to flip to, so it changes the charging cycles to be compatible with that AGM batteries. And when I did that, um, smoke started coming out of the top of it. And um, so I just never have used it, but we use our generator enough that the alternator keeps it charged. Uh, it's a Charles brand. There's our inverter. That thing still works great. Um, so today we're swapping that out for a more modern one. I've already got started. I took it off the wall and these are the connections that are on it. Those aren't going to be compatible with our new charger, but I'm going to mount the new charger in the same spot. It's a new kind of a solid state all digital thing. And uh, it's only a six amp, but I think that should be plenty just for kind of trickle charging, keeping the generator battery topped off. So the easy part is done. That's getting the new charger mounted to the bulkhead there. Um, and now the, the wiring part of it is gonna take place. That shouldn't be too hard either, really. You got a positive and negative going to the battery and uh, your 110 power. I first tested it, hooked the uh, charger up just to make sure I programmed it for the AGM batteries. And uh, it should just be a couple, a few crimps here and uh, be ready to go. So the next step we did in our battery charger insulation for the generator is use these crimps for the uh, power into the battery charger. These are shrink tubing, they have shrink tubing built into the crimps. Um, however, the 12 volt side coming out of the charger, um, I wasn't able to use a crimp because the wire supplied with the charger is much smaller out of the six amp charger than the original carver wire that was for a 20 amp charger. So I had to use the old fashioned soldering gun and uh, some shrink tubing to make sure we got a good waterproof connection for those. And now this will get all securely mounted and hidden inside that protective thing and we'll get one last final shot as when we're all finished. So the last step was using a cable tie that screwed down to securely fasten all the cables so they don't bouncing around when we're in heavy waves. I did have to leave, it looks a little sloppy, I had to leave the new fuse protectors out access to those so they're easy to get at in case I ever need to, although I've never had an issue, but you never know. So um, it, the video makes it look a little easier than it was just because of the area down here that I had to work in and soldering is probably the toughest part because I, I could have used a little hotter iron for that thicker wire and that would have helped the soldering go a little better. Friend lent me a uh, heat gun for the shrink tubing, which made that uh, did a great job, so I appreciate that. Carver has installed these cable runs, so I tried to use that for as much as the cable, uh, just a few inches into it, but it made it real nice for holding that in place too. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the installation and uh, hope it gets many years of service out of this charger. So we've plugged in the power, battery charger powered up fine, set it for AGM batteries, it went through a self check. Everything looks good, battery looks good. The red vertical line is telling us we're charging. And the green little array, when all of those are on, that means it's fully charged. It'll just go down to trickle charging. So um, everything looks good, good installation. Hope this one lasts many years as the first one did. Thanks to Freebird subscribers and friends. We really enjoy reading your comments about places that we visit and cruising you've done. Please remember to subscribe and give us a like.